Hi, I'm Kara O, oh, and this is another edition of Lip Smack and Love. And I have Cherry Norris back with me today, and today we're going to talk a little bit more. This is Single Saturday. Cherry is a dating expert. She is the Hollywood dating director, and she has a little different spin on the topic of dating, so I wanted to bring her in to share her perspective, because I love what she teaches. She's really good at what she does. So we wanted to talk today about setting the stage. Remember, she's the director. She's made a full-length feature movie called Duty Dating. So um, tell me what you mean by set the stage. Thank you, Kara. When I'm talking about setting the stage for love, you want to set your environment to support what it is you want to attract. And this can mean your physical environment. This can mean setting your bedroom so that it's romantic, so that it's balanced, so that you have equal bedside tables, equal lighting, equal pillows. Yeah. Seriously. And that there is space in the closet for his things. There is room in the medicine cabinet for his things. Um, take out. This isn't. This isn't about him moving in. It's more no. about of an energetic like I'm welcome here. That's exactly right. Okay. It's creating the maybe space. the first date. <laughs> That's right. But it, it really is. It's physically opening up the space. Got it. Okay. Okay. So that there is room for another person. Mm-hmm. So that you're not inhabiting every corner and nook of your environment. That makes so much sense, doesn't it? Wow. It's just creating the space. Yeah. But in addition to that, not just in your physical environment, it's important to create the space in your time, in your schedule. Right. Because right. often we get so busy that we don't have time to bring in mm-hmm. anything new in our day. And when a man calls and invites us out for a date, it's like, I'm sorry, busy, call yeah. me back. And the man is like... Well, if you're too busy, you don't have room in your life for me. Right, right. So when we think, oh, well, we're just keeping our commitments to other people, you might want to take a look at that and say, who's your commitment to? Because if you really want a romantic relationship, you've got to be committed to creating the space for it. That makes so much sense. And I'll I'll share something with you. My my ex-fiancé, who's now my big brother, has been dating, he's been doing Match.com, and he has found that the women, more often than not, don't have time. They're on this website Mm -hmm. asking to meet this man, but he says, they don't, there's nowhere for me to fit into their life. I can tell already by all the things they have going on with their work, Mm -hmm. their kids, their, you know, and hobbies and activities. Completely so, unavailable. Uh huh. Yeah. I so want it. That's right. In my timeline. Well, in yeah, my convenience. Yeah. yeah. Well, it doesn't work like that. When you have a real person, they <laughs> have a real person. Their needs too. Uh huh. And you have to be able to organize right. your, or be flexible with your time in yeah. order to create the space for a real person to come in. And there's also that that the energy of what you're putting out is also the the making space for, you know, one thing is just the wish list. I wish I had a guy in my life. That's not the same as what you're saying. It's like you have to do this sort of internal and external work to 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 make space emotionally, physically. Uh, what about the way we dress and all? Is you that part it. of setting Absolutely. the stage? Absolutely. It's presentation and keeping your antennas up when you go out. Uh-huh. Because often we're like, well, if he loves me, he'll find me and he'll just accept that I'm in my sweats and he'll love the real me. Well, okay, maybe later. Later. But when you're presenting to attract love, men are visual. They yeah. want to see something nice to look at. Right, and right. so you want to set your stage physically and keep your eyeballs up and out and looking at what's going on because often we miss <laughs> who's coming towards yes, us yes. because we're simply not creating the space in our presence right. to accept or receive it. And that and that goes back to keeping that energy, the welcoming. That's I, right. You know, the I, availability. I, really, yes, yes. I have space to meet you. Right. I have time. It's not that I'm on a mission and I've got right. to be to my next destination. <laughs> I have time. 
I was laughing. You were going like this. Oh, no. Sorry, Teddy. <laughs> and I know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, no. I had. I've done a video on you know uh, confidence and my oh, and my my my, <laughs> my teacher in in in. Uh, Jim used to say, "Great for his up," and so I was thinking, you know, but that is part of it. Part of yourself it. up, it is to you know, and men are attracted to women who have good posture. That's right. But it, you know, it does make your breast stick out. But you know, when Not you did thing. that, it seemed like, well, that's just another way to remind Present. yourself to stay open. That's right. As, as opposed to doing this, that's doing right. you know, focusing on my little thing I'm doing and that's right, and forgetting. Yeah, exactly. That's great. I love it. Is there anything else we need to talk? cover on setting the stage. I don't want to miss out anything. Well, I think those three, setting the stage in your environment, Uh setting the stage in your calendar, and then setting the stage in your physical presentation when you go out to attract what it is you want to receive, are very good ways to set the stage for the love you want to call in. You know, um, I did one segment on color, what colors Mm -hmm. to wear to, and you you worked with Jennifer Butler, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, we Mm -hmm. both did Jennifer Butler. And one of the things is, you know, in the beginning, to wear your rapport colors. That's right. Because that's a welcoming, it's inviting, it's relaxing. That's right. It's comforting, all those things, so that that's, you know, part of the whole thing. So if you haven't seen that particular segment, go to Theme Thursday and some, I forget the title of it, but something about the colors. So, great. yes. Okay, great. Absolutely. That's it for now. And this is Kara O and Cherry Norris wishing you lots of lip smacking love. Mwah. <laughs>